the absence of adequate classrooms, sitting desk and writing tables, public pupils are learning under neem stress in some public primary schools in Borno State. And this report reveals more. The primary schools in Borno State is faced with inadequate trained teachers, poor school infrastructure and inadequate teaching and learning facilities. In some of the primary schools in the state capital, Meduguri, classes are overcrowded with about 200 to 150 people in a single classroom. The pupils are forced to sit on the bare floor for lessons and using their legs as writing desks, while some others learn under a neem tree. Uh, it affects learning. Yara Buddha, the leader housing, Malami Air. Huh? At least 40 to 50 at Kim class. Malami Zaya controlling Yara Zasuya Suzona, Suji Abunda Malami Eke Magana. Kazona at Chiki choose one night to lake one night to lake a Koza Kasa Hankali Abunda Malami Apada. Huh? When you want to buy the interest, they do tabaka. Huh? Bose Yaro Bose Yakomi Iliminsa Komi Himansa Yedoki Agumara Minam. When is a Sokaneshi? Bose Yakori Yenda de Yara Arbain, Koham Sin Suzona, Aquer Musu. Bose Yakoaba Yara Sunazone Akasa Binchi Bese Suba. The Kajika Sam classes Talatin Arbain at King Magarantan. Bazi which a class goma, who goma shabir suna da sidba. So ran duka suna akasa. This is despite the huge resources and attention allocated to education in the state, both by government and non government organizations. On the 24th of December 2018, former Borno State Governor Kasim Shatima presented a budget of over 24 billion naira for education in the proposed 2019 budget and about 2.227 billion naira was allocated for universal basic education, a body responsible for providing basic amenities in primary schools. The 2019 budget size is less than that of last year by 56 billion 204,000, representing about 30.80% reduction. This is in view of our desire to have a realistic budget. In pursuance of this objective, government in the coming year intends to establish an agency to be known as Borno State Mega Schools Management Board. The primary objective of this agency is to, among other things, set standards. The 2.227 billion Naira budget was for the construction and rehabilitation of schools infrastructure destroyed by the Boko Haram insurgents, procurement of furniture, computers, photocopying machines, teaching and learning materials, as well as vehicles. Plus TV Africa crew visited about five primary schools within the state capital while using a hidden camera to record the condition in those schools as journalists are not allowed to use an open device to record since it is against the rules of the civil service for a public servant to talk to newsmen. Some officials were however captured lamenting the neglect in the primary school's education sector. According to these officials, there are indeed high syndicates of corrupt government officials who pocketed the money meant for improving the standards of education in primary schools. In one of the primary schools visited, there was indeed a computer room, but only one out of the ten computer desktops were working. 
We further tracked down Marlo, who has just retired from service in March 2019 after working for 30 years. He shares his years of teaching experiences with us and the challenges teachers and pupils face in public schools. I have a computer at the beginning of the day, and I have a lot of problems. I have a computer at the beginning of the metropolitan. I have a computer room. Muntaba zua mwenshi ga munga ni Mwenye wansu aiki ma achiki Ama adi mwa garantane neke kwerwa Banga alama kompita ba However, the chairman of the Universal Basic Education Board, Dr. Shetima Kulima, says the overcrowded schools may not be unconnected with the mass influx of people from rural communities chased by the Boko Haram insurgents he further added that not all that was mentioned in the budget was given to the board, as it was what was proposed, but not what was realized. It's a budget for the year, not for the ICT, mind you. Is that is a budget, and then budget can be, can be just a projection. It's not the total sum are available for you to use, just a projection. When money comes, you can apply and get it. Sometimes, depending on the need, when the need is not only just computers and what have you, if, if classrooms are not there, what, what is the essence for you to look for computers? You can also, you say this should go to construction of classroom because it is very important than the computer now. What is the way forward to achieving quality education in Borno State, one would ask. Malam Gamdu has the following suggestion. <laughs> And will these be met? It remains to be questioned.